We're going to do a quick video on a scalping trading strategy. We're going to have two strategies for you. They're both relatively simple and stick with me to the very end and I'll show you how you can get the details for the second one uh, absolutely free. I'm going to explain both of them fully, but the second one we do all the work for you. The first one uses two moving averages, a green five day and a red 20 day are on this chart. This is the US dollar versus the Japanese yen and it's a one minute chart. You can use this strategy I'm going to show you on one minute charts. You can use them on hourly charts and sometimes you can use them on daily charts, but let's take a look at this one minute chart and then I'll show you some other ones real quick. You can also use this strategy on the SP 500 other currencies I just selected the US dollar against the Japanese yen because it's a popular currency the first thing you want to do is use your head you want to make sure that if you're going to buy you want to make sure that the, the red 20-day moving average is at least flat you don't want to use this strategy when the 20 days coming down so you're thinking of buying you want the moving average to be either flat or going up that's the first thing the 20-day moving average so it's really simple it's going to give you an exact entry price what we're looking for is a close of the price above the five-day moving average and the five-day moving average above the 20-day moving average. So we can see it's flat here on the 20-day, the red, and we get a close above it. We'll take this, let's take this one right here. So that's a close above, and we can look right here and confirm. We can have a close above. The price here is 143.19. So we can see that the green and the red are both below that. So that's a buy signal. So we're, our entry price for the next bar is gonna be 143.19. So we see if we can get filled. And it was just barely possible to get filled at 143.19. That was really close. This is probably not the greatest. Uh, let's see here. 143.19.5. 143.19.2. So we could barely get in. So let's say we get in there at 19, uh, I'm sorry, 143.19.5. Uh, 5, 0.19.5. So we're in at this currency. Big numbers. 143. 0.195. So now you're in at 0.195. We want to stay in until we, you use your judgment if you want to, but you can do it objectively. You want to stay in until the green five day crosses back over the red. Now you can again use your judgment. You can get out right here if you want and, and just pull some pips out of there. You can get it here if you want. There's nothing the matter with taking, you know, 10 or 12 pips with some slippage. You can get out anywhere through here and take your, take your uh, almost, what, 15 or 20 pips here. You can wait until you get a close below the red. I wouldn't. You get up here, you just get out. So you can make anywhere from 5 to 20 pips here because the green five-day moving average never crossed back over the red, and so you stay long. So that's an example of a really quick scalping trading strategy let's find another day here now look you wouldn't want to mess with all this it's sideways the red is sideways so wait until we start to move up let's say we move up right here this is really nasty and let's just take a look so it starts to move up would we really want to get in right here with all this nastiness i would say we wouldn't so we go back here and keep in mind some of this is showing you overnight trading action uh, i know this is a classic setup but let's just use it and we'll avoid a lot of nonsense here let's go right in here where we see that the red is moving up the the price clearly is above the um the uh five and the 20 and the close on that price is 142.91 now this is a little tricky because you would have had a you would have had a, a sell-off but it, it still meets the rules so our, our entry on the next bar is going to be 142.91 we're going long could we get in 142.91? So we got in long and immediately it kind of went against us all the way down, but we never had a close below the red 20 day moving average. So we stayed with it. We came up here. Now we're going to ignore this big bar and act like that didn't happen because, because let's face it, that's a fluke. And let's say we got out right here, 143. So you can see you, you pull your 5, 10, 15 pips out of here, no problem. You could stay in it and go to here. But that's basically how this works. Your price closes above the 5-day, the 5-bar moving average, and the 5-bar moving average closes above the 20-day moving average, excuse me, the 20-minute moving average, and the, and the red 20-minute is, is trending upwards if you're going to buy. Now, the same thing you can use this for shorting. It's the exact same thing. You just do everything in reverse. It closes Let's, let's just show you real quick, and we're going to ignore this big bar here. Let's just let's just take a look here. We have a price below the red and below the green, so that our entry price is that close, 143.035. Let's see if we could got it, get in, 0.035. So we could have got in, so we're in at 0.035. We're going to ignore this, and we're going to stay with it. Let's just say we got out right 
here. We're just making this up. We got it right here. Point. We were in point oh three five, right? Where were we here? Point oh one forty three is the big number. Oh three five, and let's say we just stayed in and got out here. That's one forty two, and the close was point uh, eight five. So we pulled more than fifteen pips out of that. So it's the same thing on the shorts. You basically you're looking for a slightly downtrend, not a deep downtrend, a slightly downtrend, twenty minute. You're looking for the green to be below it, the price to be below the green. You take the close. You see if you can get in the next one. If you can, you short it. You stay in until it looks like flat or starts to cross over or wherever you feel like it. You know, get out. If you get five pips, 10 pips, 15 pips, you get out. But certainly you're going to get out before it uh, gets too deep in the crossover back above the uh, the red. So that's this basic um a scalping trading strategy on a one minute chart you can do the same thing on an hour chart keep in mind we're going to show you a chart here that has evening sessions in it you should stay away from the evening sessions but if we just scan through here and we're looking for let's just take this right here this is, we're going to short this market and we're looking for the green below the red and the price below the green so let's take this right here you can see it's flat so we want to take the next one let's wait till it fell over a little bit so we took this one right here 143 is the big number 143.15 can we get in 143 yep we could get in so we're in at 143.15 and we just stay in so it sells off pretty good but we miss it because we went to the bathroom so we got out here at 142.54 uh, so 143.15 142.54 it's over 50 pips and this is an hourly chart same thing we can obviously take a really good example but let's just take it let's go right here the, the price is above the green, the green is above the red, gives us an exact entry price of 141.03. So big numbers, 141.03. Let's see if we could have got in on the next bar. We could have, so we're in at um, 141.03. And of course, now the sky's the limit, you take it, you've got to go, go all the way up here, and that's a really good example. But the point of it is, you can use this scalping trading strategy on a minute chart or an hour chart. Some, some, you can also use it on a daily chart in some cases. You have to take and do your own analysis. All of this is for entertainment purposes only, and you've got to do your own analysis and your own research. But that is a real quick example of how you can scalp one minute on the 4X. You can definitely do it on the S&P 500 if you're skilled. Uh, all of this requires skill. None of it's easy. But... Um, and again, all for entertainment purposes only, you have to use your own analysis. But uh, the scalping trading strategy is uh, very simple and very um, uh, interesting. You take a good look at it yourself and see what you think about it. Let me show you the second one that you can get from us. RBM Research puts out a scalping trading strategy that is essentially just we post for free every day. We have 190 for stocks right here. You'd use the one day hold column. But let's go down and look at FX. We put out the seven major FX pairs every day. Here they are from Monday. We put them up already. We have a buy and a short. If you're going to scalp, you'd use the one day cold column and you'd scalp around this price, assuming your own analysis said it was a good idea. And it's the same thing. It just gives you a fixed price. You take your take your pips when you got them. You would use the, the moving averages and so forth. If you're going to scalp, there's no reason to do it if you're going to hold long term. But if you're going to scalp, you'd use your moving averages and trade with a five and a uh, 20 day moving average around this price assuming your own analysis said it was a good idea same thing if you wanted to short the yen you short around this price and use your moving averages your five and your 20 day moving averages to give you some more if, in, in case you didn't want to use your gut and you wanted to use a firm price that you get here but keep in mind with the, stra the uh, scalping trading strategy we showed you up here you get a firm entry price it's the close of the previous bar so you have a firm entry price that's what's so great about this strategy you're not really guessing in either case so that's what we've got for you if you want to get our entry prices you can get them all for free every morning before 7 a.m monday through friday at rbamresearch.com absolutely no credit card required there's a link in the description below at rbamresearch.com just follow it over there and sign up for 180 190 stocks the major forex pairs we cover btc crypto which is has incredible intraday trading s p 500 incredible intraday trading crude oil, gold, and bonds as well, all before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. If you like this link, please click the, uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. Keep in mind, everything you've seen and heard on here is for entertainment purposes only. You can't use them for anything other than entertainment. Your scalping trading strategy is for entertainment purposes only, as is all of our entry prices. You should do your own research, and you definitely trade at your own risk.